Today I'm going to be showing you how you can recover from an accident without actually totaling your car. Now this right here, if I were to get it fixed at the shop, it would cost about two to three thousand dollars which is more than the value of this car. This is a 99 Honda Civic EX. So the main problem right here uh, that makes this car kind of uncomfortable to drive is the hood is not completely latching. We're going to see if we can fix that and bend out this frame here with some ratchet straps. The best thing to do is pinpoint the spots that have actually bent, that are bent or warped. I've already uh, cranked this down just a little bit and you can see it came off the power steering hose. So we're definitely headed in the right direction. Now I did not pull off the bumper, I didn't pull off the headlights, I pulled off the grill. Uh, that was kind of stuck behind the uh, front bumper there. I actually did not have the time or daylight to completely pull off the bumper and maybe uh, pull out some of the warpage from behind the bumper. This is actually not my car, it's a car of a family member. I told him I'd check it out for him. So, we're going to do the best we can, and we're going to try to straighten this out here. You've seen we've already pulled it off the power steering line, which is a, a step in the right direction. We're going to get uh, as much ratchet straps as we can uh, fitting here, and you're going to see kind of a method that I've used. I went back and forth between the uh, ratchet straps and tighten them up you'll see here so basically the objective is trying to pull the frame to the left you can see the accident was on the driver's side and it kind of smushed the frame there on the driver's side headlight so we start to crank down with one ratchet strap and you can see it's not really doing the job so we're gonna try to hit it up with a couple more ratchet straps here I crank it down to about as much as I can uh, I can muscle it so we're gonna add a second one here if you don't know how to put a ratchet strap together, it's actually more simple than you would think. All you do is just put your hooks where you want them and thread the strap through the back and then make sure it's straight, make sure it's taut, and then you can start ratcheting it down. You pull that little lever there. It's kind of self-explanatory if you just look at it. And then you start ratcheting it down. Make sure it's tight and make sure the strap doesn't start to uh, bunch up inside the little circle. So now that you have two ratchet straps uh, pretty well taut and you can't really move the second one, you can always go back to the first one and see if that loosened up a little bit and you can start tightening that one down. But once you have both of them tightened up, you might want to unloosen one of them and uh, just switch the angle and see if you can uh, just depending on where your pinch is and where your fender is bent, you want to uh, move your ratchet straps around to get the best pull. So you can go back and forth and eventually we're going to add a third one here. But if you would like, you can also heat up the, uh, the part that is bent. This could possibly make the metal a little bit more soft and more pliable to allow you to pull it out easier. Here's something else I also wanted to show you guys. So if you get real close, you can see how you loosen the ratchet strap to be able to take it off. You want to watch out because there's a lot of tension on this ratchet strap so do this part slowly. You see as you bend it back there's a little extra lip there and it just pops the ratchet strap loose. So I've uh, relocated the first blue ratchet strap and we uh, added a third one. It has a, It's black so it has a it's indicating it has a little bit more poundage to it. I think the blue are 250 pounds and the black holds about 500. So you can see I'm going back and forth between the straps. When one is completely tightened I find another one that's loose and I continue to do this until all three of them are as tight as I could, it can possibly be. So we're going to take these uh, ratchet straps off and see where where this got us. We're going to put the uh, grill back on, make sure the grill sets fine. We're going to it has uh, three little riveted screws in them and you see it's a lot looking a lot better than it did at the beginning we're gonna put the hood down and see if we can press the hood all the way and you can see we're already getting making some progress you might wanna uh, ratchet down a couple times and then keep trying this to see if you uh, make any progress and you might need to switch some things up you might need to uh, angle the ratchet straps a little different you might need to uh, pull off the front bumper and really get down to the problem. So here is a before picture and we were not able to get the hood down. Now we're able to get the hood down. 
just uh, takes a little effort and it's looking a lot better and here is the after picture yes I know it's not perfect but the car still runs no leaking problems no leaking coolant or any fluids and it didn't cost a dime so if this video helped you out I'd ask that you would please share it with a friend that might be going through the same problem also if you'd be so kind and leave a like let's see if we can uh, hit a hundred likes on this video I don't even think I have a hundred likes for my whole channel but hey why not and uh, consider subscribing if you uh, want some more how-to videos thanks for watching